Hey there, Josh here for EEWeb. I was given the opportunity to try out the beta version of Atmel's new Atmel Studio 7.0. Studio 7 is focused on increased performance, ease of use, and has new project import functionality that makes it easier than ever for makers to take their projects further. The installer has been modularized so that you no longer have to download hundreds of megabytes before you can begin the setup. Instead, you download a small install bootstrap, specify the types of device you'll be working with, and let it automatically fetch only the necessary components. And the start page has also been revamped to dynamically fetch and display the latest news from Atmel based on the components you have installed. Now, if I were to open up the project here, I can actually create a project from an Arduino sketch. Now, Arduinos are so popular right now because they're so incredibly simple to use that a lot of people are doing their very first prototypes and very first uh, revisions on an Arduino. Here's an example of how easy it is to import an Arduino sketch. You just go New Project, select Create Project, and then from Arduino Sketch, make sure that you have an Arduino IDE path, the sketch file, and then choose your board or device. It will then create the project, giving you full access to the low-level functionality like power modes, IRQ configuration, and debugging with breakpoints on hardware. I have an open project here in debug mode, and I can select an item in the code itself, hit F1, and help will open with specific information on what I've selected. If I open the I.O. view, move it over here, I can select things here as well, and F1 will open up help on that specific topic. And finally, one of the things that I do frequently when I'm doing my code is I'll have to look, okay, I changed the name of a variable, I should have done that, but now I need to find it here. So instead of having to go in to view or whatever and find, they just put it right up here that makes it very simple to just immediately pop in here. Um, so it's kind of one of those funny things, most every IDE has a find function, but it's a lot harder to get to. And Maybe other people are different, but I use that find function quite a bit. So having it right there is a very, very nice feature. So it seems like Atmel has created a couple of incremental changes in Atmel Studio with this version 7.0 uh, in regards to having an easier installation, a faster loading time, and it's also cleaner and more aesthetically pleasing, which makes it easier to use as well. But the things that really are the phenomenal changes are the inclusion of the data sheets within the IDE itself having it offline access, having it so you don't have to go everywhere else scouring the internet. And as part of that, I'd also say the context sensitive help and the search capabilities are improvements in the same vein of trying to make it easier for the developer to get everything they need without leaving the IDE. And finally, the ability to import Arduino files is a, a game changer for many people in that they can still use the simplicity of Arduino to create their first prototypes, yet pull it in and get the full power that they need to create a, a product that can actually be sold. So I think Atmel has really created a game changer here because their IDE not only appeals to people that already use Atmel Studio, but also has a bigger field for other people to come in. I highly recommend as soon as this comes out to download it, check it out. I think it'll really help you out with your next Atmel project.